funny story. I was at the bank today and I was paying for um, two books that I ordered online from an online store on Facebook. And then last minute, I was browsing the store still. And I see another book and I'm like, oh no, I want this too. But we'd already, I'd already settled on a price with the, um, the owner. So I was like, I messaged, can I add this one too? And then next thing I know, my name's already called up and then I have to pay. So I did. And then it wasn't until after I was out of the store and like waiting around for the, um, I mean, after I was out of the bank and I was waiting around in different stores for like the owner to reply, they did. And so I had to go back to the bank. Which, the bank is uh, in a mall, by the way. So it wasn't that hard um, to pay for the book. And then I I got the same teller who uh, rang me up the first time. And then he looks at me and he's like, and I'm like, hi, it's me again. I'm here for, I'm here to pay again for another book because I didn't, re didn't like reply on time. He's like, okay. He's like, what are you getting? I'm just like, uh, less than zero by Brett Easton Ellis. And he's like, okay. You can just see the amusement. Like he saw me like twice in the, in the span of like 30 minutes. So um, yeah, I guess that's my little story time for you today. Hi guys, it's me, Chrissy. And I'm here with, I guess you could call it a collective book haul. And uh, remember how I said I found new ways to make my money disappear? Well, I've been making use of that way ever since the last book haul. What is it? It's a cat. The cats, I tell you. Um, yeah, everything here I bought from a used online bookstore. You can just find them on Facebook. And um, except for one book here, and it belongs to my book BFF Remas. And... Um, Without further ado, let's just get into it. I'm not going to explain too much because I have about 25 books here. Yep. Two, five. As old, as many as how old I am. Okay. Um, so the first set are pretty old, as you can see. Um, and I actually w didn't think I would be able to find these books ever. So when I saw them on the site, I just kind of went cuckoo cuckoo crazy whatnot so um yeah i got the graduate by charles webb the group by mary mccarthy i read her posthumous memoir and i fell in love with her and i was like i need to read her stuff and so i was able to find one of her stuff one of her stuff one of her books um cast a cold eye by mary mccarthy my life as a man by philip roth and then goodbye columbus by philip roth um then I have The Plot Against America by Philip Roth, American Pastoral by Philip Roth, um, The Assistant by Bernard Malamud. I don't have to pronounce that properly. Um, oops. No, but, um, Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. 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 Uh, Bel Canto by Anne Patchett. Um, Half of a Yellow Sun by... Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. So happy I found this. Um, the Elegance of the Hedgehog by Maria, Muriel Barbary. Barbary, yeah. Um, a booktuber. I for, can't remember his name right now, but I think it's Brian something. He said this is slow. I didn't know it was slow when I was looking at the blurb, but I mean, yeah, I could kind of see where that was going. I kind of felt like it might have some Grand Budapest Hotel uh, vibes, so I just kind of went for it. Also, it's really pretty. And then I got um, The Devil in the White City by Eric Larson, which is a book about, um, there's like a Chicago fair, and there is this mass murderer who would like, his prime time murdering sprees was when he built this hotel during the... Um, Chicago Fair once a year and now like each room was a trap and then there were like staircases that lead to nowhere shoots um, Every room had like a shoot that would like Instead of for lunch you use it for like their bodies and stuff. So I just found that really cool. I Think my best friend would really enjoy this I was actually I was thinking about her when I got this actually and then um From my book BFF I have night film which I'll be reading in March I'm excited about that and then I have Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. I'm not sure if I hauled this already, but here, here it is. And then um, Letting Go by Philip Roth. 
This is Oryx and Crick, by the way, um, here inside from another online bookstore, but um, I don't want to unwrap it yet. <laughs> but yeah, it's Oryx and Crick. Um, that's how lazy I am, like, right now. Um, I have Embroideries by Marjane Satrapi. She's building up here at the side. And that's not even all of them. Um, when She Was Good by Philip Ross. Zuckerman Unbound by Philip Ross. The Human Stain by Philip Ross. I watched the movie, by the way. Not so bad. Um, the Shadow of the Pomegranate by Jean Plady. Um, the Informers by Brett Easton Ellis. And finally, Dubliners by James Joyce. So, wow. Four minutes compared to my other book haul that took forever. So, um, yeah, these are all the books I bought. And those are the only books I've read. The stack in front, not the back. The stack in the back are still books I bought. Um, no more space anywhere. So, yeah. As you can see throughout the year, I will be piling up this stack right... Wait, how do I adjust my hand? There. I'll be piling up this stack here so you can, so I can see... I can see, you can see how many books that I've been reading this year. And then at the back is probably going to be the books I bought. Because... Yeah. Anyway... I think that's about it for all the Philip Roths that I want because that's a lot of Roth for a year. So I'm pretty sure that would last me a year. Maybe if I read it this year, maybe next year, I don't know. So you know I'm like fickle like that. Um, yeah, so um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking around. I'll see you guys next time. All oh, these books. Bye. Hey fam, what's up? I'm actually back with another part to this book haul as i've been doing lately so um y'all know that i you know there's a reason why there's an extra part here and i meant to only add like maybe three books but it's more so what well you know yeah i like don't have any more words to explain but um i was able to find mary mccarthy the group which is in a much newer, larger edition than the other one I showed you, and it's actually much, much cheaper. I don't know, like, to be honest, I actually gave up hope on the group because I thought it's so old, no one's gonna have a copy, so I was like, you know, might as well just get that one, and then here it is, this one, I'm like, why you do this? Anyways, fate, why you do this? But you know, whatever, it's fine. And then I found Written on the Body by Jeanette Winterson and this lovely... Uh, vintage books edition I think UK random house so I guess it's vintage UK or whatever it's very nice that's all I can say about it and then I found another the assistant by Bernard Malamud this one I might keep the other one I might sell because that one is actually in better condition and then I was if after the next one I have like a funny story about because I saw it on a online uh, used bookstore on Facebook and I requested to um, reserve it but the thing is I wasn't able to get into contact with the like person who runs the store because um, they were I, I believe moving house so that's fine um, but it took a month but I'm just so happy that these books finally came and one of them is The Keep in a Beautiful Hardbound by Jennifer Egan I'm, I'm pretty sure I mean cockroach or lizard poop uh, stain here um, somewhere here like I ended up trying to clean it and then it ripped and when you open it you can get just a, a little whiff of the poop but um, the, the edition is quite nice and it's it was signed so I'm not sure how much the lizard poo is going to bring down the value of a signed copy so yeah but I'm actually really excited to read this it's not as big as I thought it would be so that's a point for that book and then this is actually the main thing I was really excited about about this um, when these came when this when the keep and this other book came in the mail it is girl interrupted by Susanna Kaysen. I believe watching, I remember watching the movie when I was a child and I don't think I was supposed to watch it because I was a child, but you know. Um, so I found it was a book and I'm like, yes. And it has been on writers like I. So, yeah. And 
And the last book in this haul is Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers. And I've been interested in this book ever since I found out that it's a co convent full of assassin trainees. And I'm like, yes! Yes! I mean, hello! It, that sounds really freaking awesome. So if ever I don't actually get into the rest of the series, I at least just wanted to read book one, you know? So yeah, that's it. Those are, these are the six extra books I bought. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking around and I will see you guys next time. Bye.